We're going to be our game to win it, but we can win it based on how the sc- and the things are laying right now. We have every chance of winning. Um, I disagree. Still, I I I I think it's um, definitely um, I think it's definitely um, what you call it. Uh, Man City's to 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 to, to lose. Um, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah, yeah. If they um, lose even one game, though, if they lose even one game, and I'm talking about not the game including that they play with us, if they lose the game against anybody else. Mm. Yeah, right. And Liverpool beat C. Mm. Then that, put, in fact, that puts us ahead of them in goal in terms of goal difference. I, think, I still think, uh, I still think you need an improvement up front. But the thing is, I don't think you need to buy strikes. I, I've said this before. You guys need to play. What's my man that you guys playing on the right hand side? Again? Oh. Greenwood. Greenwood. Yeah. Play him centre forward, straight out front. You know you have to put him next to Ronaldo, yeah. Not not on the wing coming in. Yeah. A straight out centre forward, I'm telling you, yeah. Sure. Affinity extra. Be extra. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are personal and do not necessarily represent the views of Affinity Extra. Hey, yo, 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 this is your boy, Roger Moore from Affinity X. You're here to celebrate uh, uh, go- uh, Gospel Link, you know. Sorry, guys. That's my- <laughs> you know what got me into Gospel Link is listening to DJ Mello before the show. Yeah, the, 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 the silent guest uh, yeah. watching Spin It and Bin It. Uh, and, he, and he said he left something for me to do, uh, Mr. G, G, Mr. GL. And then it had, it's in my head now. Thanks, thanks, DJ Mello, for not being in the show, but just influencing the show when you're still out there, mate. Anyway, so yeah, man, too afraid to come in here, man, and talk about football, man. You know, at the moment, still in fright, and uh, you know what I mean. But we'll, we'll let him off for now. We'll let him off for, for now. But listen, guys, you know, we might have uh, a guest appearance by Anthony in later on. He wants to dive in and have a good chat about something. So bear in mind, guys, we might be, uh, we might get ransacked by the end of the show anyway. So you bought me. DJ Marks will go on with the show um, and keep it nice and simple, man. Still, anyway. So yeah, okay, bro, 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 bro. Um, how are you anyway? You good? Yeah, not too bad, man. That's good. That's good. We're, Sorry, guys. We're watching them late nights, watching those African Cup of Nation games and stuff, but all good. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That was quite late last night. Did you watch the Nigeria game? Um, no, I didn't catch the Nigerian game, but I kind of knew they was gonna lose though. Bro, it, what is it? It's bro that it, you know that West Indians are from Nigeria, bro. From when they, from mm-hmm. when they smash, mm-hmm. they smash everybody up, and the arrogance, the arrogance, stops them from winning, bro. Every single time, that what's wrong with us people? What is wrong? It's a West Africa. <laughs> I blame West Africa. You know what I mean? Let the North African soft boys go and beat them, bro. What was that, bro? Okay. Bro, bro, Tunisia had no players. You no, know, it's, it's good though because you, you get to see different teams coming through rather than the, the ones that you would just usually put up yeah. there, isn't it? So it's bro, good. I'm fed up with Tunisia, bro. bro. Tunisia, mm. Algeria, and Morocco. They're just always Algeria, all the Northern African teams. They've got all the money and they're just taking the mick anyway, still, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, my friend who actually. Um, um, played in the African Nations Cup final, scored a hat trick in it as well. Um, he plays for my team, you know. <laughs> oh, cool. yeah, 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 wow, like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, what I'm saying, but he got injured, man, really badly injured mm. in the game, and just he had to, had to go to France and then got injured in the, um, um, a mash up his knee, and obviously didn't recover from there, man. It's such a shame, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. His club was, um, it was in the BBC report, I've got the link as well for it, and he's, um, and it's crazy because he, his team was. 2-0 down at the first leg and when he came back and he, and he scored a hat-trick to make, make them win 3-2 mm. and then gets injured and that's his career gone career done bro. yeah career done bro absolutely done but you know it's the way it goes anyway so yeah but listen guys you know it's been um, we're going to keep this show real simple transfers I'm going to hopefully get a touch with, DJ, uh, with DJ Marks and also we're going to have a look at a couple of the um, there's quite a few targets going on right about now and also we're going to tell what people need Ranier we sacked but we don't really be care in business Watford's just, uh, mm. Watford's just like you might as well have a special Watford sacking show because that's just sack after sack after sack after sack after sack but <laughs> let's kick this off bro um, okay then the weekend's events um, let's talk about the last round of football because we haven't really focused on, on the Premier League of late yeah. so you yeah. just flip into the um into uh, into that what what's so let's start off with this man is Liverpool gonna win the league can they catch up Man City everyone's getting excited um, everyone's getting you excited know what? You, you guys know already when I come on here man I, I, <laughs> I, I, I speak Liverpool fan or not I speak truth and I speak it as it is um 
I think Liverpool can still win the league, and I'm going to tell you why I say that. Because still? we've got a game, we've got a game in hand. Oh, oh, oh yeah. what's, what, what's what, what's second of all? Reverse. Did you say? Did you just say what you I thought you said? Yeah, Liverpool can win the league. <laughs> I, I want to tell you. I want to explain to you why. Listen, yeah, we've got a game in I, hand. I'm here, gonna right? that's up, man. Go, 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 go. We we, we got a game in hand. Mm. Right? If we win that game in hand, over C, um, we got we're six points behind C. Yeah, we still got to play C. If we beat C, that just leaves three points. Do you know what I'm saying? So that just makes for me that makes it wide open. City have already shown they can draw and drop points. Um, so you know, I know that happens another couple of times this season. It's very unlikely, obviously, you see that they don't do that all the time. But like the fact that we've got to play um, City still and we've got the game in hand, it puts like I said, we're in three points of City. So and then by the time, don't forget, with that game in hand, our goal yeah. difference will be will be greater if we win it. So for me. As long as we like, we win the next the game in hand, and we beat City, it's wide open. Interesting, guys. So I'm blinking my eyes out because you know you will be eye too hard, and then, then I'm st- I'm actually stuck. <laughs> so guys, excuse me if I'm blinking and blinking here hardcore, yeah. Because I, because after Marcus said that, and I go and rub up my eye, go and you what did you say? And I go and mash up my eyeballs. You, um, you know what the, the, joke, the thing is, I think people are looking and they and they they remember in like when City was like how many points ahead of Liverpool, like about 10, 12 points, whatever it was. Hmm. But we we always had games in hand, and now like as they drop points, win this game in hand, B C is just three points behind them. So for me, it's wide open. Okay, uh, you heard it first, guys. Uh, Marcus is claiming, um, and we needed Anthony to 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 kind of get into that one still. You know what I mean? So uh, I didn't say we're going to be are going to win it, but we can win it based on how the sc- and the things are laying right now. We have every chance of winning it. Um, I disagree. Still, I I I I think it's um, definitely um, I think it's definitely um, what you call it. Uh, Man City's to 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 to, to lose. Um, oh yeah definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah yeah yeah. If they uh, lose even one game though, if they lose even one game, and I'm talking about not the game including that they play with us, if they lose the game against anybody else. Mm. Yeah, right. And Liverpool beat C. Mm. Then that put, in fact that puts us ahead of them in goal in terms of goal difference. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You put the ball. But well, the thing is, your, your defense is awful. What's, what's, what's new? <laughs> we, we want the league yeah, with awful it's, defense. It's, <laughs> listen, man, you, you want to inform Van Dyke that wasn't worried about Holland. Now he's worried about playing in the World Cup, bro. And yeah, but, uh, you know, the, the good thing is, even though Mane is not on the phone that we've seen Mane in like previous seasons, Liverpool are still right up there in terms of goal scored. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm. Van Dyke is coming back into his best. Mm. Um, I think, the, I think the thing that I'm liking more right now is the fact mm. that I'm seeing Klopp is actually, he's almost like he's chosen his centre back too now because he was always rotating him. He was always Van Dyke and somebody else, but it seems like that that Matic and Van Dyke thing is solid right now. Okay, okay, okay. you happy with um, that? Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. I mean, I, I okay. like my man as well. What's his name? Um, Konate. I think he's, okay, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think he's, a, he's a solid defender as well. But I, I like the partnership with Matip, and I'll tell you what he is. I like those dribbles that Matip does, bro. But I don't know where he gets it as a defender. <laughs> but mm-hmm. every game, man, do these, these dribbles like Kim McManaman. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I hate that, I hate that. But yeah, like I said, that's, that's, that's all it is for me. Just that if, if City just dropped one game, mm. Liverpool on, on level points with them, as far as I'm concerned. So. It's gonna go down to the wire. Mm. Mm. That's all it is. One game in it. Yeah, man. I hear that. 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 People, the I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not. Um, how can I say? You know. Um, oh no, no, no. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the details on it, and I'm thinking, yeah, it's so true. But it's like this, man. <sighs> Liverpool, Chelsea. Are you under threat from Chelsea? I don't think we're under threat from anybody. I mean, the thing is, I knew you were going to ask me that question, so I did my research beforehand, yeah? I thought, yeah, yeah. okay, we've got a game in hand. Yeah. We've still got to play City in April. Yeah. We, we win both those games here, right? Well, listen, anything can happen, man. Wait a second, you got Chelsea in the final, isn't it? Yeah, you got Chelsea? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's it, isn't it? You play Chelsea twice, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hmm. You still got Man United, though. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you, we'll get into that. We'll get into that later. But 
there's still for a, me right now. Yeah, I see United no different than Liverpool playing or Watford. Oh, stop that. One, two. No, see, no, serious things again. United for me, pound for pound, I think have one of the best teams in the Premiership. Yeah, but the thing is that they're not playing as a team. You know okay, I mean? that's a problem. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Liverpool play your guaranteed goals. Even if those goals come late in, we, we, we're, we're scoring. But Man United right now, they seem oh. to be struggling to score even against some of the smaller teams. So, 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 okay. So you're quite confident about the whole Liverpool situation. Um, yeah. I was, I, I, me personally, bro, I'm, I'm not confident with it anyway. So I just feel that Man City are just take, is just toying. Um, somebody, somebody said that, you know, they talk about you know Sancho. Everyone's just blazing off about Sancho and mm-hmm. and blazing off about you know certain players. If you look at City, bro, they have they have um, how can I say? They have been able to have players sitting there for about a season or two, and they kind of get better and get ready for the for for for, for Man mm-hmm. City. And they've spent a, look at Mares, bro. He was seventy million, you know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, you know. And I don't still see him as a starter. Greenish is a hundred million, and not under no pressure to have to play him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. you know. So they got mm-hmm. some, ex- and, and Silver was no cheap player either. So these guys are not mm-hmm. no cheap players. Even Jesus, he was about forty mil or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. These mm-hmm. are a, it's an expensive squad. It's just that that Pep just building on top of quality, on top of quality, and he just has two teams now. You know what I'm saying. But everybody, mm-hmm. when Man United is bringing in players, they have to drop. And I have to say. Bro, you know the Liverpool's been lucky with the with the, with the, with the, with the, with the buyers that they have. And you, bro, you, you're never gonna get such a lucky season, bro. With, with, with the boys since Coutinho, bro, you give us buying every player seems to be spot on. Hmm. And and I don't. Well, care you know what? That, 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 that's good scouting for me. No, like, come on, bro. You everybody yeah. makes mistakes with players, bro. You know what I'm saying? Wenger. No, everybody Fred, makes mistakes. We, we've got the thing is we've got players that we've made mistakes with, and, and we all had to let them go. Or when oh, I mean, you took out a man like Shakiri and stuff. Shakiri was a, a, a good player in his own way, mm. but he wasn't. I mean, he wasn't for Liverpool. Okay. Um, I'm still waiting for when we get rid of players like Origi and stuff like that. They come in, they score big goals every so often, but they're not players that you're going to hit up in the first eleven very often. You know, if, if all man them get injured, Origi will get a call up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, so I think with Liverpool we've got our things as well, but we've also done. I think there's been good scouting, but there's also been good management. So okay, rather cool. than saying, you know what, we're going to just go and buy up all the big name same players, mm. we, we clock come in and he's basically used guys that other people probably would think oh, he would get to my first level, like Henderson. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. James Milner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> these, yeah, yeah, are all, yeah. these are yeah. all title winning players now. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, I'm, I'm never going to turn around and say, like, you know, Henderson, Milner are all world class. Mm. They're going to do that. Mm. But he's got he's got them built into a team and the rest of the team is playing like a team and that's what it comes mm. down to which you mm. are saying regarding United mm. pound for pound they got much, for me I think they they got a better in terms of in, in terms of player names because mm. some some might some might argue in other ways but in terms of player names United have a better squad than Liverpool right now yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, take yeah, away the front yeah. three yeah um, but I think you know when you look at your midfield um, you know you world class I mean okay the here and uh, what's your name. And Alisson, I could probably put in the same place in terms of, of oh, name. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I think, I don't, well, I, I don't I, know. I, 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 mean, I, I must just, say, I with, feel... with Man United, I must say, Varane, bro, mm. he's a show in his class, bro. He's just, he's, yeah. he's, you know what I mean? At first, everybody, remember, you was the, it was you that was giving it all the big talk about Varane. And Varane, the, Varane, the Varane is, without Varane this season, bro, yeah? It would have been I, I was worse. I the big talk, but my, my thing is that when, when they brought in Ronaldo and when they brought in Varane, mm. I felt a lot of United fans um, speak to them. It was almost like they felt like that was the end of their problems. And I was trying to say, I know Varane is a quality defend, defender. You're not going to be at Real Madrid and not be quality. You know what I'm saying? And be first team Real Madrid for how long and not be quality. Mm, mm. Um, so I knew he was a quality defender, but the, the message I was trying to get to a lot of my mates, which are United fans and stuff like that, is regardless of the quality of Varane, and Ronaldo, they're still two men in an 11 man squad. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And unless the, the whole squad is playing, mm. I mean, Ronaldo, if no, they ain't no person on this world that ain't going to tell you Ronaldo is not beat. I mean, the man was scoring goals in Juventus before he came. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. And suddenly, suddenly he, his goal tally has dipped. But that's not because he's, he's lost quality. Mm. He's the team that he's playing in. And yeah. that's what it comes down to. You know what I'm saying? If you put mm. him, go put him back in Real Madrid or Juventus now, his he, tally's going to go back up. Mm. So. I, 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 I think you know um, 
Got, looking at Man United, and it's like they're kind of like a very fragile team at the moment. Very, very, very fragile. And um, and I feel like, you know, they haven't got the characters in that centre midfield area to drive the team and to want mm. the ball. They're, they're just hiding from the ball whenever there's some pressure out there. And mm. and we, we, we've blazed our thread on this, on, on this show, hardcore. Uh, McTominay is... Is I call him a Darren Fletcher type player, where he plays a couple of games, have a couple of games out, a couple of games in. Mm-hmm. But bro, I'm watching. You know what I mean, bro, bro? Well, the good thing about it now is that basically it's it's, it's it, with Ragnet, right? What I like about Ragnet is coming, and he's almost said, "I'm playing this formation." even if it exposes the weak players what we've been mm-hmm. doing for so long even from Mourinho days Mourinho plays to win weak or not mm-hmm. in certain places so if he's got a weak midfield he will play a certain way to compensate mm-hmm. for that Ali did the same thing he said I will compensate for our lack not fix our lack compensate mm-hmm. for our lack but the problem mm-hmm. is you need to sort that lack out to beat yeah. to win the league again so we've always come so what's Ragnet's done um inadvertently is expose the fact that basically we have got no midfield we've got nobody mm. to receive the ball and pass the ball now it's gonna be interesting to see how he plays Pogba if he plays Pogba you know what I mean mm. um I think everybody was wants Pogba out you know um mm. uh but we'll get to that because there's a season right now when we get to the transfer talk bro there's gonna be a lot of free transfer players at the end of this season never mm. happened before mm. But we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But for me, um, with Man United, bro, to get fourth, bro, would be amazing. You know what I'm saying, to be honest, bro? Yeah. Get, just get the fourth. And the thing and is, go. it's a shame because this is the Man United team, you know, right? And I think it's kind of difficult because for me, United are now in a place that I still lived for war previously, prior prior clock. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe, maybe even you can say prior Brendan. Even no, no, but yeah, um, yeah, I wouldn't say that far back. No, 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 no the reason I say that because even when Brendan came in, he still did a decent job with you. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. And what when I say in terms of United being there, I feel United for me right now, I, I wouldn't call a title winning squad. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I think they've got a good squad, yeah. And, and when, when Liverpool was during that period, everybody knew the history of Liverpool, everybody knew that we were waiting for years and years and couldn't win this title. Mm. But I feel even at a club like Liverpool, I feel that I feel the pressure was less because, like man, like um, Benitez and and um, Julia, yeah, right, mm. was getting like like third and fourth place consistently for mm-hmm. seasons after seasons, yeah, right, mm. and they they still they still were the Liverpool managers, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because I, and I think that's because the the board were realistic in terms of where the club was at, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I think. With the United managers, yeah, right, being sacked over and over again. Mm. Again, obviously, you want the, the, the team to do better, but at the same time, I feel like the club needs to be realistic about where they're at. Don't, mm. don't. I don't see United as a top two team right now. And I know, yeah, yeah. like you know, when I, I, I think, like you said, United getting a full place for, for me is is, a, is very good for this season. Yeah, hundred um, percent. So, I think if. And that's not to say you have to stay there and say like, oh, we're a fourth place team. You're not, it's United. That was saying you can't say that. But I think if you're realistic in that, yeah, then I think in turn you're going to give the manager you have time to, do, to build his squad in the way that he wants to build his squad. I, and I, I think Chelsea's there to get, get caught. Upset, but I, I, I do think Chelsea's there to get caught because I do think T- Tuchel's bubble's gone, bro. Remember PSG, bro? Mm. At first, Tuchel's everyone's best friend. Get him, get him, get him work rate as Neymar, get him work rate as Mbappe, got the team together. When they started fumbling with the, play, with the players, and the players start to break, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Is that you know, happening I'm at Chelsea? Say something controversial. You know what I think Chelsea's problem is? Go on. I think it's, I think it's Lukaku. Ooh. And, and the, this is the reason I say Ooh. that. Lukaku right now in Chelsea is, is doing the same thing that I, I said would happen with Ronaldo at United. That they had a big guy up front and then the, the, the game changes to focus mm. on them. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And Lukaku, quality player. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you're, if you're going to play your system aiming, because like if you watch how Chelsea play, with all the attack they do, mm. everything is looking for Lukaku. Even to the point now, he's, he's even got the, the commentator saying that, oh, Lukaku's not scoring, but he's doing a good job. Like, holding yeah, up the ball. It's, doing it's, it's getting back. But do you think, though, Marcus, yeah, I do feel uh, you know, I was watching um guys we you know, obviously talking about Lakoku here uh, we, obviously we rate as a baller we see him smash it in Syria mm. but is it that he is black strikers are the kryptonite of Syria's defenses 
and he's and, and you know what I mean because a lot of a lot of the teams Napoli have a black striker. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these top teams that have black strikers, Z- Zapata, and they cause mm. problems. The power and pace. The Italian defenders are don't. That's not what they they like. You know what I'm saying? They're not ready. Mm. Where in England, the defenders are more used to pace and mm. power. You know what I'm saying? And look, 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 look was just was just was just, was just mashing up. Literally dragging up players. I saw him box mm. over a player the other day, but he can't box over the second guy. In Italy, he was boxing mm. over two guys, you know what I mean? Mm. And having somebody running up to him. And also, yeah. at the same time, um, yeah, the way they find him, the way they played to him, um, like you mm. said, it's just the system of the play. But I do feel that they was talking about the transfer market. They're saying that, you know, we look at certain leagues. If you do successful mm. in German league, can it correlate to the British league? And it would say mm. it's, it's one out of three will will go well. When it comes to yeah. Italy, bro, you don't see many Italians playing football in England. No, you, you don't. But again, I mean, when when Lukaku made that statement um, mm. in the Italian press, oh yeah, and then yeah, I yeah, think yeah. the following yeah. game or two games, I can't remember how many it was, he didn't mm. play. Yeah, I, we saw a different Chelsea, a different Chelsea in terms of how they played. Mm. Um, they. they Without going too far, they played mm. more like Man City. And what I mean by that, okay, is they fluid the ball a lot more. and 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 a, yeah, bit, a lot not, more yeah, fluid yeah. and so on. Like that's that's what movement, yeah, yeah. And as soon as Lukaku comes back in, yeah, right, yeah. again the focus turns on to him. And like I said, that's why I reckon he's the problem right now because the players that they've got in Chelsea. When you're talking about men like um, Ziyech and then Mander, mm. bro. So Ziyech's goal, bro, it was, it was, it was, and the thing is, this is what I'm saying to you, bro, everyone's putting pressure on players to deliver as soon as they come in the Premiership. Mm. The man need, man took a season just to settle in, and bro, that goal was quality, bro. That was like, yeah, you know the ones was, where, bro, yeah. you know the ones he, the keepers are standing there, that was like. Yeah, he didn't expect that. Bro. The swerving that ball, everything was just bro. perfection. Perfection. Bro, that's one of the ones you just shake it, and then he lick another shot yeah. on it straight after yeah, that, yeah, and, yeah. and the goalkeeper to make a save, and you're, you're on fire. <laughs> just like yeah, coming, yeah. coming like NBA jam in it. You know the ones yeah. that you're on fire. Oh, after you score a goal like that, you, bro, you just think that you can do no wrong. Yeah, every, everything is a shot thing. Yeah, yeah. Everything, everything. Um, yeah. So, I, I, and, and, I, and I do think, bro. I know Rudiger is a beast, absolute beast. We mentioned how quality mm. Rudiger is. Yeah, I actually hope he doesn't sign for Chelsea. Not from a Chelsea. I hate Chelsea's perspective. I mm. really, I really think that Chelsea's mistreated him for the past four or five seasons. At there, he's mm. always been the guy that was out, and then he's out for a while. Then he comes back in. Many different managers didn't like him, and he come back in. Mm. I don't know mm. if you feel like I'm, I'm a bit right here, or I'm, I'm a wrong. No, from you're there. right. Um, uh, I would have used to do something that and I see and do sometimes here, yeah, right? So I, I used to like using Rudiger playing mm. like in Pro Evolution. Mm. And like I've got a group of friends of mine, and like we, he was one of them guys who used to always fight to try and get in our team because he was strong and mm. he had some pace. You know what I'm saying? And I say that to say this: that Rudiger, even like you said, he's been in and out of Chelsea. Every time he's come in, for me, he's done a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. done a proper solid job. And it's almost like he comes in and does a solid job here, but then once you see, I don't know, if it's a case of even play somebody that's injured or whatever it is, mm. as soon as that person's back, it's like, regardless of how good a job he does, he's automatically just bent. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I always felt uh, that yeah, he was yeah, one yeah. of their better defenders from the day. And he just needed the, the time to come and shine and show what he can do. They'll play Aska, Aska what's his name? Aska Paleta, whatever his Aspel name is. Yeah, yeah. Aspel Equator. Yeah. yeah, they'll play him over, over, yeah. over him, or, you know what I'm saying, over him for their three seasons. It's yeah. only just now Tuchel's come in and just put, uh, and then even straight away, Tuchel don't think really played him, but then he settled in, mm. obviously, did the German magic and, 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 and Rudiger's in there. But if I was Rudiger, mm. there's been no loyalty to him as a footballer playing week in, week out at Chelsea. Mm. I would go and get the money, get the trophies, and go to Real Madrid. That, that'll be me, bro, because him and Albert. Yeah. I think I think now definitely you would probably. I mean, he's saying he's happy at Chelsea. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, he could do that now. I think the, the problem for him, I think, if the opportunities were there for him earlier on, I mm-hmm. think he would have gone. But again, because he was doing, because they were using in and out, in and out, he never really had the time to shine. And as a result, you know, teams weren't really paying attention to him because he wasn't getting enough game to show the kind yeah. of defender that he was. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where now we see man had a solid run, and suddenly, mm-hmm. you know, his name's been mentioned in Real Madrid and in other top clubs do you know what I'm mm. saying so I, I, I think yeah definitely I mean for me I, I, I would love to see him go and, and you know that's just me putting my 
black man hat on. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I want to I, I see him go to a top team where he's going to win trophies and do well, man. Yeah, man. One hundred percent. Even teams like PSG needs a player like that, man. Just strong mm. experience, and it's just like yeah. I'm fed up of seeing, seeing these defenders. I got rickets in them. You got a mistake in them. I call them the Bailey mm. syndrome. You play brilliantly, but there's a mistake <laughs> in them. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I'm fed up of people saying, you know, Bailey is a brilliant defender. He's a brilliant defender, but bro, you know, bro, you're playing your defense. Mm. You a defender. I'm a defender, bro. On the weekend, mm. I made one. Bro, I played. I played quite his first game back. I played quite good. Mm. And um, I, I made one mistake, bro. And my goalkeeper mm. had to make a save, bro. It's like, you yeah, know, because yeah, I'm playing yeah. the left-hand side and I'm right-footed and the ball mm. just hit the ground and it's quite bubbly. Flicked over my mm. foot. Um, mm. I got back I got back and made two challenges. There's two stop, two shots. Mm. But it's still the one mistake. You know mm. what I mean? And you could be finished, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's just yeah, like, yeah. oh my goodness sake, bro. One mistake, bro. And it's all over in defence, bro. And you just want... And I think, I think that's the difference. Dude. Like, like, I mean, you could get away with that when you're playing football. You know what I'm saying? Because... Yeah. You know, you know that your 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 team has the the, the, the amount of plays they have. You, your position is like solid. Yeah, man, that by you and them guys here, right? They know there's other defenders breathing over their shoulder all yeah. the time. Yeah. Even you be playing. So when you get your opportunity, if you flop here, right, you're almost guaranteed not to be playing the next game. <laughs> you know it, it's abs- It's absolutely people. Absolutely people. Looking at bro, um, everybody was talking about Tottenham is favourite for fourth. What do you think? <sighs> I think Tottenham still have a lot of problems. I was having this discussion with my boy Jonathan. I was trying to see if I can get him one today to come on to jump yeah, onto this. Yeah. Is he Spurs? Um, is he Spursy? Yeah, he's a Spurs. Oh, fan. He, he, well, um, anyhow, actually, was in the same. <laughs> the, 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 the thing, the thing is for Tottenham, and he he agreed is Tottenham are at a place right now mm. where if they want to really truly be the team that they believe that they are, which is a top four team, mm. they need to invest. They need to invest. Mm. Um, the problem that Tottenham have is that since um, Potts left, they've fallen behind. Every team has brought in players, yeah, 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 their squad, yeah, yeah, yeah. made them. And I'm, and I'm not talking about Tottenham have brought in players, but I'm talking about if you're saying you're a top four team, there's a players of certain quality you need to bring mm. in season in, season mm. out. You know what I'm saying? To make a little change. You know, even, even Pep, man could win three, three, four titles back to back here. You know, he still would look to bring someone into strength and say, you know, I see this little bit of weakness or whatever. Tottenham haven't really done that and I heard excuses of, you know, new stadium and things like that but my argument is this. You're saying you ain't got no money to, to, to spend a play because of your stadium, yeah, right? Mm. If you're saying, okay, we're building this stadium mm. and it's going to take us, let's say, three years, four years to build this stadium whatever mm. the time is, I don't know. Mm. Surely, to maintain this top four status, you say, you know, it's better that we extend the time of the building stadium so we have money for that as well as money for bringing in players yeah, yeah you can't yeah. for me you can't choose one or the other and expect to stick top four you know what i'm saying because the stadium build is a long-term plan that's what, what you're gonna arsenal? do in the meantime <laughs> yeah but that's what's happened to arsenal though realistically mm-hmm. from when arsenal built up the emirates stadium there's been no recovery yeah yeah you know what i mean let's be real you know what i mean they were top they was top 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 winning team and when mm. when when they're, they're having players like free pong and you know what i mean and all the men, I, think, like, I think i think tottenham Problem is not just that though. I've not Tottenham, sorry. Arsenal is not just that. I think some of their problems has also been down to decisions up top in terms of the managers they bring in, the players that they sign. You mm. know, what I'm saying the players that they they, they offer extended contracts to. Mm. You know, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Tottenham, I feel Tottenham, yeah, they they they've consistently brought through what would could be argued as good managers mm. um, since Poch has left, and I don't know what's happened. But it, 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 bro, and and they're always talking about buying ballers, but they never spend the money. You know what I'm saying? West Ham, I'm, I'm, I'm um, this is the problem. West Ham, the patchy. They go through a patch, yeah. bro, where like you said, they beat Liverpool, they beat everybody, and then they just go and trip over, lost the Leeds, lost mm-hmm. the Man United, and then next game they go back and start winning again in the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. They're very patchy team, but as long as Arsenal, Man United, bro, that is really t- that's a tough area, you know, bro. Tottenham. Yeah, Arsenal, area, yeah. West Ham, and Man United are fighting it out. I, I, I actually want to see West Ham up, up there to tell the truth, and I, I think it would just be nice for football to have a new name in there. West Ham, I think. No, you know what they want pl- be, because of huh? Europe, bro. What's what's going to happen to them is because I reckon they they somebody said the other day. Okay, right, you're West Ham, you're you're David Moyes' situation, yeah. Mm. You look at the you look at the Euros, but the um the whatever UEFA League, whatever cup they call it now, mm. whatever, yeah. You get a Champions League, 
Do you feel win that? Mm. Mm. I will put my eggs into that, bro. Mm. Which is easier to end up fourth in the Premiership or win the your when you win that your league team? Um, I don't, I don't know. I think for a team like West Ham, I think they're probably going to be just as they're going to be both difficult. Um, mm. I don't, I think West Ham right now in the way they're playing, mm. on you always get these guys playing all the way down the season. I think they can take for take Europeans for whatever. They, I reckon they can do both of those. Um, I just feel, yeah, I just feel I, I would like to see West Ham up in there. I, I love to see them play recently. Mm. Um, this has probably been the best, well, no doubt, not probably, but this has been the best season West Ham have had for years. Bro, for years. forever, bro. Remember, remember yeah. the days of Radha Choyu? Yeah. Yeah, man, Radha Choyu. Bro, and, 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 they, 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 they got a squad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, they got, they got, they got. But the thing is, it's Rice, bro. What's going to happen to Rice, man? Will Man United go and spend it, spend 100 million on Rice? Possibly. But the thing or is, I, he, I, might, I, I he might be end up in a position like what Jevon did, being in a team for so long, yeah, right, that you just end up fucking there. Is that like Kane? Oh, like Kane as well, yeah. But the thing is, um, um, Kane, well, Jevon. I was, I was watching African Nations Cup the other day, bro, and then mm-hmm. uh, I bumped into um, um, a Basuma and Haidara played together in it for Mali. Mm, mm. Uh, yo, yo, bro, you can get them at Old Trafford, bro. Cause them man are playing ball, bro. Them man spraying balls like crazy, bro. Yeah, I was like, yeah. yo, they're cheaper than you, you, you're, you're never going to see it, though. As long as you've got Pogba, Fernandez, and. and Pogba's and gone, bro. Say bye bye, bye bye, Pogba. Bye bye. I don't know, bro. And even, even if you say bye, bye to Pogba, bye. yeah, man, I don't know what it is about every man that's, that's coming to United lately. But why does everybody love Fred? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. Fred, bye bye. Papa, bye bye. McTominay, bench. Get the two bad boys in. Basuma, Hydara. Mm. It's on. Bro, they might control it. Even you're dribbling, bro. You go, what? That's a bit filled, you know. No, you know, I kind of think the thing is, yeah, you're saying McTominay, bench. I like McTominay. I, I just. You know, think, he's a good player. He's just what, one, one system. Yeah, yeah. He could play along beside Basuma, and I think that'd be solid. Yeah, 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 no, 100%, 100%. I, I, mm. I, I've, no, everybody waits for McTominay. I think that, like you said, he's been played out of position and the problem is it's just poor coach, you know, over the past couple of years and a poor environment for him anyway, so yeah. Um, you know what's kind of weird for me is your um, your fav- second favourite manager, Brendan. Um, Brendan, um, how are yeah, you feeling yeah. about what he's doing at Leicester? Um, something's happened this season. I think they're, they're still playing um, ball okay, mm. but something's happened this season which I feel like they've they've they've, they've gone down a few steps. Is it, in, is in it the injury to that defender? Because remember they had that defender that um, what's his name and um, we got injured in pre-season and he's oh, out for the whole yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the black guy because he was tough. Because he was a good defender, man. He was a good defender, but every every team in the, let's say the top four mm. right now mm. had at some point had. Lost his defenders, but Marcus, you know yo, what I'm saying? You're 2 0 up against Tottenham, bro, in injury time, and you make it and, and you lose, you end, up, you end up, you lose the game, bro. Mm. You, who else you blame, bro? If you're in defense, bro, you get, uh, <laughs> you get, you get back. I don't know how you felt about that one, but that was just that was just ridiculous. That, that's, for me. That's down to the players. I don't think that's nothing to do with the bandage. I think the players are playing really bad defending. Because what what they were doing for the whole of that game mm. ain't no different to what they did in in the in the last section of the game. It's the exact same thing, but they just switched off. So, bro, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. You got them. Um, uh, oh yeah, yeah. One more. And, and you got your favorite, your favorite, your second favorite manager. And then you got your favorite son, uh, Gerard. Man, what are you saying? You, you're laughing there yesterday. Listen, I'm gonna say this now, you know, right? <laughs> Gerard is for me the same as Patrick Vieira. What I mean by that is those yeah. are two players yeah. that had to go back to their home club and manage them their home clubs. Okay, Gerard, okay. yeah, right. I've, he, but Everton. He, 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 uh, Gerard went to um, <laughs> Rangers. Did a mm. good job there. Mm, yeah. Did a very good job. Yeah. Now, yeah. then, you know, for those in, in the UK, you say, okay, he did it in Rangers. You know, there's only two teams in, in Scotland, really, blah, blah. Mm. He's come over to England, he's grabbed Aston Villa, and mm. he's got these man playing ball. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, he's got Coutinho think, there, bro. He's, he's got a little yeah. bit of pull to get Coutinho back. Yeah. Um, yeah. There. And, um, and I think he's got the right mentality, especially in terms of what he's saying, he's gonna, how he's going to deal with Coutinho. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, 
Mm. I think Coutinho needs time. He hasn't played in and out football, you know, constant football like he, I mean, Bath like he was hoping. Mm. Mm. Um, so if there's the whole fitness and whatnot. I don't think he needs to so much get used to the physicality of the Premier League. He's done how many seasons here already. He knows what yeah. it's about. Yeah. Um, I think it's just a fitness thing and being match sharp, and we're going to we, we potentially see another good two years of Coutinho if he gets match sharp. Okay, cool. But yeah, for me, for me, Gerard, yeah. I'm, I'm glad of the work he's doing. I wouldn't put him in at Liverpool right now unless he could like on stage and go under tops, man. You know, sh- you know, true to it and look a, a few things. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's yeah. definitely on the on the road saying yeah. Huge so when, so when do you, do, you, do you reckon by um, God sparing life when the guy didn't come and the end times don't come? Do you feel that <laughs> Gerald will be there in twenty? We're in twenty twenty two. Do you reckon by twenty twenty five Gerald will be Liverpool manager? I wouldn't put him. I, I wouldn't put him there, Liverpool. Because um, in terms of football years and management, Gerard is still a very young guy. He, he's old for 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 a player, but as yeah. a manager, he's a very young guy. You know but in three seasons, bro, he's, he's not going to be ready in three seasons. He's not going to be ready in three seasons. No, Aston Villa and Liverpool, bro. That's that's a golf, you know. That's not that much oh. of a golf, bro. The stadiums are the same size, amazing. bro. It's, it's the They're both in ghetto, bro. The same, in both in ghetto. Everton, one's in Aston, no, no, one's no, in no, Anfield. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's the same mistake they made in more years, bro. Going from Everton to Man United, that's a golf. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Going from one uh, one team year, right? If they finish like in the top ten, you're happy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The club ain't looking to get rid of you. It's very different mm. to being a team that's expecting to win the league or at least be challenging for the league. It's a very different thing. So for me. I think I would give Gerard. You're, you're saying like twenty twenty five. I would give him another seven eight years before I would consider him. So you're you're you, 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 like you, spend time at clubs, even if we get sacked at Villa, doing a couple of rounds at another few clubs. Just keep learning your trade. Twenty ten. So but, but, no, twenty by twenty thirty then. Twenty thirty. Yeah, twenty thirty for me. Okay, it's cool. Like God, 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 to willing, Earth don't finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I mean. Yeah, twenty thirty. Oh, yeah, that's 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 title. <laughs> yeah, and I, I would say the same thing for even man like um, Vieira. Vieira's obviously he holds a bit more um, stature in terms of like you know the, I think the way people see him, but mm. in terms of manager experience mm. at, um, for top thing before. For Arsenal to be where they were, mm. putting Vieira in now would be too soon. I know mm. Arteta's there, mm. but again, I think someone like Vieira, you need to give him between six to eight years, yeah. just managing, yeah. doing his rounds before you say, you know, put him in that Arsenal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Vieira's, Vieira's doing a great job, and I think, like you said, yeah. him solving the problems that he's got at Crystal Palace will mm. only make him better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So no, 100% there, bro. And like, look, I'm, I'm still going down down the league. What's interesting is is, is obviously everything's in a three four four three four. Mm-hmm. But you know what? As I said, Eddie Howe, I reckon he's going to do a good job at Newcastle, bro. He's because so. because everybody was talking like Newcastle's detached. They're not detached, bro. They're just a couple mm-hmm. wins away. And if they get a Lingard, if they get a you know I me mean, a couple of decent bowlers, bro, you never know they might get a Bang Yang up front, bro. You yeah. never know, bro. Like they get a couple. Couple, bro, couple, I, I said, I said this one, but in our other um, podcast here, right? Yeah. Even if Newcastle go down, yeah, I I think that's a good. I wouldn't even consider that bad for Newcastle at mm. this point in time. Mm. Had a complete switch over. Mm. Things been going bad for you guys. Mm. You've had a complete switch over in terms of ownership. Mm. You've got a new manager in. Mm. I think the only, the only bad thing is that the club they need to be successful. They need mm. top quality players, and if you're in division um, in the division. Uh, what's called a championship mm. no one's going to want to come to you from like big clubs like Roma mm. or from other things that's the, that's the only problem so mm. they need to stay in the premiership for that reason but I think that right now they have the right manager yeah because even when you look at man- teams like Manchester City when they first got their their, um, their millions and millions yeah mm. right mm. it wasn't men like um, Conte and them kind of guys that were going there to do big job straight off straight off you know so yeah, I think yeah you had Ranieri <laughs> Yeah, so it's like I think they they you know literally got a good good guy in there. Just make it help him. Just let him get oh, his new Just just yeah, stabilize the team, man. And then you never know. Bro, so somebody said the other day, Premiership is a pro- is a problem, guys. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get to the money thing and transfers because that's mm. coming up, man. Because bro, time, bro, t- t- we're gonna flip out of this quickly. Anyway, um, mm. going down, bro, and a quick one. Who's going down? Oh gosh, I don't. Even, I, I, I can't even say. 
Burnley's because flat the teams, at the bottom. The Burnley. teams that are down there, yeah. for me, are playing. They're all playing as bad as each other right now. Yeah. But Burnley, for me, are one of them teams that seem to be able to like flip it all the time. I reckon they'll stay up. It could be for me, Burnley, Watford, Norwich. Mm. I mean, Norwich is a hit a bit of a purple patch, but I think that. Eddie Howe has a way of playing football that I, will, I, mm. I reckon he will get them not only to play more rigid, he'll get them to play mm. football. And the, but we, you cannot go Sam Aladice anymore in the Premiership and get away with it every two seconds. Yeah. You know, long ball and whatever. Players mm. like defenders like Varane are not getting caught out by 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 the big tall striker anymore. These guys, yeah, you know, yeah. what I mean, you know when you used to get like um, a foreign goalkeeper. Really mm. good shot stopper. You just just chuck, remember the game first came to Premiership, and all you do is chuck it in there, and he's gonna make a mistake. Not anymore, bro. Yeah. You know, goalkeepers mm. like look Fabiaski and all these guys. You can't just float a ball mm-hmm. in there, and he won't catch Mendy. African goalkeeper mm-hmm. coming in, bro. You can't just float a ball in there. Oh, he's going to mistake. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, mm. it, it's all different, man. Anyway, still, yeah, a bit of a crazy one, bro. A bit of a crazy one. So that that that's yeah. Me. I think I think I'll go. I'll go with your three that you said as well. For them for going down, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, um, looks like bro, just we just doing this show live, guys. It looks like Cameroon as as uh, uh is going through to the next round in the African nations. Oh my gosh, we could even talk about that, man. But anyway, um, <laughs> they, they, they they are 2 1, um, the 1 2 1, bro, against Comoros, man, bro. That's embarrassing, bro. Uh, it's you should be wiping the floor out of the team, and the, the Comoros is down to 10 men after seven minutes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As I'm saying, Cameroon's overhyping this. It's just because they're playing at home, bro. You know what I'm saying? And whatever they're so yeah. But as he said, um, it's quite good watching African nations and seeing some new fresh players. I must yeah, admit, yeah. I just love the way they've been playing football. They've been actually trying to play football um mm. on the bad surfaces and the skill. Traore, bro, yesterday. Mm. He is skillful, bro. I think he's probably the yeah. most skillful player in Africa right now. You know that JJ mm. catcher? He's a JJ catcher right now of yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah. I, I, quality, you know, quality. absolute sheer quality they might have to get carried off the pitch because he was that mash up absolutely yeah, you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to see in the Premier League come September there's going to be an influx of African players after this now they're, they're probably doing their scouting scouting but, if African nations took place like in um, October November time yeah, then January transfer window would have been like Pack, black and eyes, bro. Straight yeah. up black and eyes, bro. Pure Kamara's, Trioris. Mm. You know what I mean, bro? <laughs> all them Basuma, Laruna. Mm. You know what I mean? Pure names like that. And the family, all the you know, Nigerian brothers, whichever, yeah, however, yeah. however, however, however the way they're going to end the names anyway. But, bro, transfer, let's just lick off his transfer talk, bro, because transfer talk mm. is kicking off right now. Um, what are you saying about transfer talk? What's going on? What, who, who's the big sell that needs to happen? Who's the big things that need to happen? I know that Man United, oh. they just needs to get that midfielder through. Yeah. And the biggest yeah. problem that we have right now, bro, is the fact that basically um, there's a load of players at the end of the season that's going for free now let's go for the worst this okay everybody's talking about Pogba but the drama right now is Dembele yeah mm. Dembele at Barcelona yeah Barcelona's turned around and said we're benching you because you're not taking the offer how do you feel about that um, the truth man I don't, I don't, I don't feel I don't feel no way I think I feel, I, I feel it's a disrespect to the player, but at the end of the day, the way football goes now, man, man don't have to stay there. He could say, if you're going to do that, when I'll just let club come into me, yeah, and then I'll just go in it. It's a simple thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, me personally, bro, he should take a pay cut because he's been mm. injured for majority of our time, bro. He's this is mm. that's, that's fair enough. He signed the contract. They signed the contract, bro. But name me name me a season when Dembele's played more than half a season. No. He hasn't, and that's 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 a problem worldwide in football. Which is why, you know, for me and a couple of friends that have been saying it for years mm. that what they need to do in football, mm. you start doing start um, doing contracts like how they do in the NFL. You're, you're paid based on performance. Wow! If you ain't playing, you don't get paid. It's as simple as that. Is that how it does in the NFL? Yeah, NFL. Yeah, like all your bonuses, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, mm. it's all based on your performance. If you ain't playing, yeah, they say that you okay. You know what? You're an attacking player, mm, mm, yeah, right. Mm. You're, let's say in the Premiership, the way it'll go is you, you know we've got two strikers up front. If these strikers yeah, are not yeah. getting this amount of goals, yeah, in the season, yeah, then they, they ain't getting paid what they what they said yeah. at the beginning. That's that's how these goals. When players start seeing that, yeah, right, 
the all this stuff of players throwing up TikTok and stuff will stop, bro, because they know they got to take their thing serious. Bro, they have to go back and you know, right. you know, bro. the, the hardcore NFL yeah. gym. Yo, I'm going to work out. Got to work out. Got to be at the edge yeah. of my game. Got to be at the edge of my game. Ain't Definitely. got time for no goal. Go, go no can you imagine me, right? If, if you're gonna play a player, a player. I mean, okay, let's just use someone that's been in the media a lot recently. Delhi Ali. Mm. Oh. He must be on about. He must be on about 70, 80 k. Yeah, it's about 100, you know isn't it? I think it's on 100. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the thing is, he's going to get that money even if he don't pay for the whole of this year. Every week, they've got to pay him. He's contracted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They've mm. got to pay him. So he, he can, he can as much as people cut, well, he, so he's a rich man. <laughs> yeah. I'm not playing ball. You guys are paying me. I'm, I'm being paid while I'm on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? So the way I see it is, they need to change this whole thing. If you see players that saying, you know what, I can't get paid here right, unless I'm performing. Mm. Man, no, you no, see no. how different it is in football. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. every, every definitely. Flew. I totally agree with you, and I, I think with with the Dembele situation, bro. I just think he's, he's he, I don't get me wrong, Dembele, you're making your money. Dembele, bro, is mm. on some stupid money, bro, absolute yeah. stupid money. And because I, and the I, money they paid him was based on potential. That's right, because he was a young guy coming in. That's what I'm saying. That, he, he was supposed to be the, the one of their guys for the next ten years. Yeah, you know man, bro. So, it, it was like Marsh Marshall, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> what is it with France, man? They got all these good teenagers, but they seem like they get ten pound fifty and they turn full, bro. Absolutely full. But you see, um, but for me, um, and this is why sometimes it's good for players just to mature in their own land. And that's why I'm glad Mbappe's kind of matured in France rather mm. than abroad because he seems like he, he's closer to his roots and can get beat up when he needs to. But when you yeah, look yeah, at yeah, yeah. for me, de, for for me, Dembele, yeah, uh, for me, I can't see one big club. That's going to pay him stupid money. No, they're be... not going to pay him stupid money. There'll be enough clubs in the Premier League that'll take it. But like you said, he's going to need to take a pay cut. No one... No he, has, gonna... he hasn't got the status. He hasn't yeah, got the status. No. Poten- the potential is out of the window. They look at your history. Mm. Yeah, you were a potential great player. But for the past few seasons, how many games you played? How many goals you scored? It's the, well, he's, he's saying he's playing good, but, but people are saying when he's played good in the Barca team in the last game, I'm thinking, good is good. Scoring a hat-trick and setting the other goal. That's good. That's good for Barcelona. Then you know I me. Mean? Yeah. You know I me. Mean? Good is not just about playing. Just, just and, and the thing is, yeah, it's, it's it's got to be consistent. You know, what I'm saying everybody can have a good game. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. Everybody can have a good game. Mm. You but you're talking about consistently, yeah, right? To the point that they look at you in Barcelona. This is a star player. We can't afford to let him go. We mm-hmm. can't afford not to play. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. don't look at him like that. Nah, That's nah. because he's not doing it consistently. No, 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 not at all, brother. You're totally right. You're totally right, brother. Don't even look. No, no, no. Don't look at him that way. So for me, not Dembele. Anyone who gets Dembele off Barcelona, you're a fool. Go to Newcastle. Go to Newcastle. Oh, bro, Newcastle, don't waste your money, mate, because <laughs> one lick, one lick from one defender, bro, like, he's going to be out, bro. One one, one tackle from Henderson, and he's going to be like, oh, 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 my back's out. I'm going to be out till the French World Cup. You know what I mean? Like, child, it, it, player like him um, needs to, need to be a problem. But there, there's talk that, you know, um, Ace Man centre midfielder, I did not realise it. Um... Is it Cease? Oh, goodness sake. Is Ivory Coast's cent- centre midfielder? I can't believe I forgot his name. Um, Acer Man, centre midfielder. You know that black guy in, in midfield? I, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name. Oh, bro. Yeah. He's he's going for free at the end of the season as well, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah. And, 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 and that, that guy's solid, you know? Bro. <laughs> bro, if they let him go, is, he, is it just a case of he's not signing the contract? Or they're not offering you? Um, I don't know, bro, but I know Tottenham is sniffing, apparently. Wow. Okay, that's a snitch, you know. Uh, mm. Auntie, Auntie said he's got. A, he doesn't really rate him. Rate him. I rate him, you know. He, 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 I, I want to put him up there in terms of like your your Kante and stuff like that. Yeah, know, right. But he, any team he goes into, he'll do a good job. He, he's solid. You Would you have him or McTominay? Yeah. Is he like a McTominay? He's basically like yeah. a McTominay, but better. He'll, he'll come in there. He'll be he'll be solid for any team he goes to. I think even in the Premier League, mm. you know what I'm saying. He'll come there. He'll do a good job. He'll clean up what he needs to clean up. Mm-hmm. He'll, you know, yeah. You might not get no extras, but he'll do what he has to do. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I hear that. 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 Um, but the um, oh my goodness sake, bro. Oh my word. Oh, bro. Right, do me a favor. No, 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 no. That's something else. That's something else. I'm going to put this in the group. I think we'll wait for Ant if Anthony comes into it. But anyway, just think something come on come on come my guide. But listen, so what else transfers there's out there? Liverpool, you guys are you guys are good. Man City are good. Chelsea are good. Man United are not good. What we look, what we, I think we've been getting attached to everybody. I think we just need to get 
two strong centre midfielders in just to give the team a bit of a bit of a boost. Um, there, I think. I still the- think. I still think. Uh, I still think you need an improvement up front. But the thing is, I don't think you need to buy a striker. I, I've said this before. You guys need to play. What's my man that you guys playing on the right hand side again? Oh. Greenwood. Greenwood, yeah. play him centre forward, straight out front. You know you have to put him next to Ronaldo, yeah. Not not on the wing coming in. Yeah. A straight out centre forward. I'm telling you, yeah, this guy will be the one for you guys. Yeah. He will be your theory on Reebok. Yeah, 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 man. And then you got you got they got some good young players there, bro. Ilanga, mm. Rashford. So for cool, me, yeah, as I soon as Ilanga, yeah. As soon as, as soon as um, um, Ronaldo has to go, I think that, you know, um, I think they've got like, about four or five good young attacking players. And if they can build mm. on that cohort with Rashford being the older one out of them guys, mm. I think I think, I think think that could be very interesting. And, for and that's United. the problem is right now at United, you've got quality players, mm. but they are at the same time, they're dead wood. And what I mean by that is like, you've got Cavani there, yeah. you've got Ronaldo there, yeah, and you've got Martial there. Yeah. Ronaldo, Cavani are both old players. So he's not, you're not going to get another five, six years at these guys, yeah? yeah? And Martial is just not scoring. Okay, you, you, you know, he gets the odd goal every blue moon. Yeah. But he's not someone that you're going to say, you know, if you put him up front, mm. he's going to do like a, a Salah, for example, and get you like 20 plus goals bro, a season. He just needs you know to go, saying? bro. He just needs to go. The Martial. So those three, I think you need, definitely, I think you need to like focus on Greenwood. He, he's your future for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I know Melo will love that man. He, he he totally agrees with that man. That he's he's definitely on that tip when it comes to green. When in fact, you know, in fact, I'll tell you what you do: to get two solid wingers, mm. bringing two solid wingers, yeah, and then your forward, your front two becomes vastly green. Bang! I'm telling you. Rather than green with up front, yeah, and you get two new um, wingers yeah, that will come and do the, the work on the, on the wings for you, or even the Elanga do because Elanga's doing a good job, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, in, he's doing these, and he works hard for the team, but sometimes you just want somebody mm. to go out there and just w- work hard, man. Just go out there yeah. and, and and do the business and um, work out hard. I think that you know what, still, yeah. Um, I think you know, but transfer. I'm thinking about all the transfer talk. I know Lingard. They're talking about Lingard going to Newcastle. I think. Yeah, I think I, he'll go. I think. He'll I, go. I, I think he has. To, I think he needs to go. I think the West Ham's yeah. not not really interested, and I think he just needs to go there yeah. and just show that he, he's going. The only reason he's still at United is because of Oli. Oli for some reason likes him. Oh. Right? Oh, I don't think um, Ralph has the same affinity for, for Lingard. Ralph so I is cold. Lingard is, going. But, but, but is, Ralph is cold. Mm-hmm. I don't want to offend mm-hmm. anybody. You know what I'm saying? You know I mean, yeah, he should yeah. have said to Van der Beek, it hasn't worked out. Go. She's into um, to, ah, to, you to, know, I would. I know nobody agrees with me. I'm telling you, I know nobody agrees with me. But I would play. Van der Beek ahead of, of Bruno Fernandes. I knew he was going to say that, but no, 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 no. I'm telling you, bro, 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 I'm bro. telling you, bro. I, that's, that's, that's me personally. Mm. Nobody agrees with me and I know that nobody agrees with me, but I would play Van der Beek ahead of Bruno Fernandes. And the problem is, Van der Beek here, like, right now, he's being used in the same way what we're saying about uh, um, how Rudiger used to be treated at Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. guy, Van der Beek is a quality midfielder. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, he agree, agree, become agree. like your first team Game in, game out, you know, right? Mm. In fact, you can play Van der Beek. Van der Beek can, doesn't have to just play AM. He can play MCM as well. Mm. So you can essentially play McTominay and Van der Beek here, right? Bruno Fernandes just ahead of them. Yeah. So you can still you can still get those two of them in. But, 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 but the problem is, bro, he's a typical Dutch player. A typical non-black Dutch player. Great technique, no pace, no strength. That's, you know, bro, you, you can have the, all the technique in the world. It's like Danny Blind. You're laughing because you know it's true. Mm. Danny Blind comes mm. over here, bro. Brilliant player. Love Danny Blind at Man United. Mm. But when you got no pace, bro, and no strength. Now look at this. Another Dutch guy. Look at Stam. Look at Look at Stam. Look at Stam, bro. Look at Stam, bro. Stam. He ain't no Dutch player, bro. He's a proper ball Dutch, like boom, pace and yeah, power he, and strength. He, that's, you know what I mean? You, you, you guys are going to get Tony Cruz at one point. He ain't got no pace. And Van der Beek for me is about the same strength. So if you can get Cruz in my night, it's quite how you can get Van der Beek do the job. Cruz is the next thing, boy. Can't, he can't, yeah. I'm not saying they're the same but, level in terms of quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. in terms of the pace and the strength, yeah, they're yeah. about the same. Uh, no, 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 no. I definitely hear that, but yo, Cross can pin it, can pin about 30, 40 yards. Um, problem yeah. is, um, I think Van der Beek. Cruz is a German Pierlo, but he's just like. 
he, him and Madrid, bro, are just absolutely. Madrid's thirty six, mm. bro, and still smashing it, bro. Like, mm. but the, but the thing is, they have him for yeah, can be as is it can be as well. Yeah, is it can be as Oh, you no, you're not can be Um, oh, what's the guy's name? Oh man, what's uh, his name again? Is, is it Cam something? Can we... he, 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 he does begin to see, but he's like, he's a tall dude. He's tall yeah, yeah, tall, like, tall, tall, tall kind of, stucky, yeah. yeah, stucky face. Oh, yeah, what's yeah, his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, he, but he's, 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 he's the enforcer, yeah. he's the enforcer next time. Yeah, but then, yeah. um, okay, we're running out of time, bro. With last couple more, last couple minutes coming up, bro. Let's say, bro, mm. Mbappe, what is going on, bro? Um, I don't know. But the problem isn't just now. He's been having a problem since the um, the, the Euros. Something happened either before the Euros or during the Euros, and for me, he hasn't been the same Mbappe that we know since then. Again, I don't know if people will agree with me, but the Mbappe that we saw lining up the World Cup and been doing bits in PSG like for, you know season before, he's still a quality player. Still, probably one of the best there is. But he's just there's something different about about him this season. He's not. Is that what I say? Yeah, there's something I don't. I can't put my finger on it. Mm. I will still put him in my, my first eleven, no doubt. What, do you think he's going to end up at Real Madrid? Yeah, Real, Real Madrid will still take him, even when he's not on form. I think at the, at the moment he's, he's got enough he's, he's got, he, about well, him. Okay, if you was putting money, well, God, God forgive us, we don't put money on anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yes, Christians. Mm. I don't know. Someone's going to say Christians are not meant to. Anyway, we're not going to go there. But listen, we should be betting anyway. But um. I get what you say, but if you could put money on, on say, you know, who uh, is going to what, going to get him? Yeah, yeah. Would you say, would you put your money on and go into Real Madrid? Ooh, you all staying at PSG. I tell you why it's different for me. Is that why it's so hard? Because usually, usually when players go to places like Real Madrid and Barcelona, mm. it's usually because it's a step up to the big boys. But you can't PSG and Real Madrid for me are the, are the same right now. If you in terms of, if you're looking at big boys, yeah, right. I feel, I feel like they're, they're the same. So it's like he would be going there because it's his dream to always play for Real Madrid. But I don't mm. think he will be going up a level. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, you see players that in the past past might have left, you know, a, a Chelsea mm. or a Liverpool or Arsenal. And say they're going to Real Madrid, they're going to Barca, yeah, right. Mm. Then you say yeah, they're going to a next level club, and this is when don't forget these. We're saying next level club because this is the time where them clubs had all the big man playing, which mm. are all gone now. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? Um, so I don't know. It's like if he goes, yeah, for me, it's going to be because it's one of his dreams. Yeah, I think, and he said that already that Mbappe, he was his dream to play for Liverpool and for Real Madrid. So he would go to that for that reason. But in terms of saying, you know, to further my career, I don't think he would have that effect because for me, whatever he can do at Real Madrid, he can do in PSG. He can win Champions League at PSG. He can win League Towers at PSG. Unless he wants to win the, the Spanish League. There's nothing that he can't do there. So okay, I don't know. Okay, okay I, I cool, cool, no cool, 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 cool. And then you got Haaland that could be out there as well, bruv. Yeah, ha- ha- Haaland, is, the, Haaland the, is going. I'll, I'll put more money on Haaland, I think, moving. So ha- Haaland, um, do you see him? Imagine, there's even hints, him and Mbappe at front at Real Madrid. I don't think we'll do take or go for both because financial fair play. They all need to. They all need to. No, well, you know the gangsters, boy. Because <laughs> neither one of them players, I'm telling you, not not Haaland or Mbappe, is going less for 150 150 mil each. Easy, 150 mil each minimum for either one of them players. So I think 150 yeah, mil. That, what? 150 mil? Because I'm forget they're free. The Mbappe is a free. I don't. I don't think. Um, I don't think PSG gonna let him go on a free. No, he's got no choice. Up in the but, 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 no, 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 no. He's he's free at the end of the season. I don't think he's signing. No, I know nothing. what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah unless, unless he unless he says that he don't want to sign for PSG, I, a, I don't think PSG are gonna let him go. I think they'll put they'll, they'll give him whatever he wants to stay, and then if Real Madrid come in, they're gonna have to pay money. Bro, I don't think they're gonna let him go. PSG's like that. got plant some. This, this isn't this isn't not a rumor. Bro. Listen, guys. Listen, <laughs> guys. Listen, <laughs> guys. Exactly. They're gonna do some true story on Mbappe right now. <laughs> just dump somebody. Else, just get him in trouble. And just they have to blackmail him and stay at PSG. Oh, we're gonna tell everybody about your naughty, naughty. <laughs> I'm blackmailing. I would throw everything at Mbappe to keep that PSG. If I was the PSG uh, management by the, the hierarchy, because no, like I said. 
he, I mean, he brings enough money on his name to the club to pay for his wages alone anyway. Do you mm, know what I'm saying? Mm. So, I don't know. The, the, I can't see him going to for free to Real Madrid. The PSG ain't going to allow that, surely. <laughs> surely. Bro, listen, bro. We'll see. We'll see, guys. Listen, transfers kicking off. We're gonna see if he because he's got to the end of the. I think he can put up a pre-season, like a pre-beginning season, if he's leaving. It, leave. But, mm. but I think he's going. He's got to wait after the Champions League. He can't sign that contract until after the Champions League game. You gotta let that mm. happen because if he signs it for Real Madrid, what do you do? How do you play against a team you're going to play and beat them, bro? Is this a problem or is this a problem? So. uh so yeah, so I think they just need to get that game over and done with. You know what I'm saying? Where I think that Real Madrid mm. would kill them. I think Real Madrid's gonna absolutely kill them because Real Madrid midfield would just absolutely murder them. Um, yeah. I know Ramos is coming back into the game. He's starting to get fit, bro. But nah, nah, nah. It's not. It's not looking good. Not not, not looking good at all, man. But listen, bro. <laughs> um, I just want to shout out to. Um, I don't know. Let me just see if I can share this with you, bro. Um, I, can you check it on your phone? Or your phone's the um the device. Wait a minute. Where, where, where I'm gonna yeah, send it? Yeah, I'm using my phone for the, for, for the recording today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where can I send it to so you can see what I, what, what I've got going forward to me? Let me see. Oh, yeah. My other phone's like an on bro. What's it going? Yeah, let me see. I'm gonna send it via iMessage. I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna mess, mess up the whole system here. But listen, guys. Yeah, I I can't believe this now. You okay. remember you you remember Bob Marley? Um, oh wow! For yeah, real? Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So so, I asked on the Bob Marley thing. Um, with, with the t-shirt and now the Irish team Bohemians has done a Bob Marley inspired kit for 2022 system unfortunately um, and it and it's like you know um, this is quite interesting man it seems like we're fashionable now Marcus you know we, we were fashionable in any way still yeah but you know we got even more fashionable so, 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 so salute to Bohemians for having the kit like uh, uh uh well basically influenced by i don't like it though would you wear it bro um the ajax one the, 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 the ajax one i would wear all day long yeah, but not yeah. not this bohemian one this this this, this no. bohemian it looks a bit too um you know you bought it from the caribbean knockoff nigel version <laughs> you know when the, the knockoff t-shirts it's a yeah man the bob marley mm. version uh looks interesting though you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Maybe because the brand brand makers couldn't. You know, when you need Adidas to do it properly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, Adidas wasn't there to do it properly. It's O'Neill's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you might as well get Gola to do it. <laughs> wow. It would them days, man. Gola, you got, 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 you get, you get, <laughs> you, you get some new boots. You might as well to go boots. And you got Golas, and you're like, I can't go to school with Golas. <laughs> <laughs> Golas and high tech. Oh, high tech. <laughs> oh, that was a dog, bro. Um, Been there, done that, worn a t shirt, man. Mom said it's 50 foot, <laughs> foot and she does it because I, because I have big feet. She'll, she'll get the size above. Like, you gotta grow into it. Always gotta grow into it. Gotta yeah. grow into it. And all that business, I'm like, oh, goodness <laughs> sake, man. Somewhere in size 12 um, boots, man. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, man, because I'm gonna grow into it. Mom, I'm like, growing now. I'm gonna grow into it. Gotta grow into it. Oh, crazy one, anyway. So, yeah. But this is Roger Market. Thanks for job, um, jumping on today's show. Um, I no, think, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we just had a nice, peaceful show today, guys. We never had a chance to say that, you know, we're, we're just going to set for Anthony when he talk, talking about um, 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 everybody else because, you know, and the kits and the T-shirts and the Red Devils because I'm sure that Arsenal lost in the KKK shirts, you know what I'm saying, when they played in the FA Cup and they got knocked out, you know, against Tottenham, against um, Nottingham Forest when they were all white. So I'm, I'm, I'm set. Uh, yeah, and pulling the mellow today, man. He, 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 he didn't want to bring the courage to talk about what, what's going on with his team, man. Bro, Burnley, bro. <laughs> like, 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 yo, bro, they got the, the, the struggling, um... man. Absolute struggling. Red cards all over the place, man. But Partey's back anyway, so the, he's there to mm. save the season, man. He's back from African nations. <laughs> <laughs> African nations flop. <laughs> Absolute flop. Absolutely terrible flop, man. But listen, bro, thanks for jumping in. Guys, thanks for okay. listening. We had a nice crispy show today, guys. DJ and I'd like to be absolutely happy we've kept the time. Well, ish, got a couple minutes over. But listen, this mm -hmm. is Roger here alongside DJ Marks. Nothing but love. God bless you, man. Let's go. Thanks for watching this content. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
can also listen to Affinity Extra 24-7 at affinityextra.com. Don't forget to follow us as well on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at forward slash Affinity Extra. If you wish to support us or if you want supporting as an artist, go to our Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Affinity Extra. And don't forget to be extra.